What's happening everyone? My name is Phil with PrecisionLED.com and today we have a 2015 Toyota Corolla we'll be installing LED fog lights on. Now this is the 11th generation and that's compatible with your models 2013 and up for this demonstration. Now the Corolla is considered the E170 in the United States and international and the E160 chassis model in Japan. We're going to be using today a premium Cree precision LED lighting kit. Um, the fog lights typically use an H16 type bulb and those are compatible with our H11 Cree uh, headlight kits. Let's go ahead and get started. We're looking now underneath the vehicle, uh, underneath the bumper on our driver's side. And this is the panel that you need to, I guess, remove this one screw here to pull away and access the fog light assembly, which is right up in here. All you need is a flathead or a Phillips head screwdriver and you're undoing one bolt here to get access. Now, a lot of this is pretty malleable, so first you're going to release the clip here and then you're pushing away here so that you'll be able to pu uh, push this down. And we're about to change the camera angle here so that you'll be able to see underneath. We're looking now at the fog light assembly and you see the connector here. We have to remove the connector first. We're gonna push down right here and pull the connector away. And that allows us to remove the bulb. If the connector is in place, actually, the bulb will not rotate counterclockwise to remove. Comes out this way. Once you have it, take the old bulb out. Now, the LED system is a two-part system. You have the bulb and the LED driver. And the first thing I did was to connect the two together using the screw uh, that holds it in place. So you want to do that first. Then you can take your bulb, insert it in, and you just need to line up the tabs in place, and turn it clockwise to lock this one in. Now that you have that in, your connector here is going to connect to power. Once you have that in, you want to go ahead and test the lights to make sure that they work. Once you do that, we're going to use a, a double-sided sticky pad here, and we are going to place it right here. Um, the fog light assembly has a really nice flat space right here that we can hold it against. Or you can do it against the metal um, on the actual bumper plate here. So I'm going to get some uh, of our 3M sticky pads right here uh, to finish the installation. And what I'm going to do is take a little wet cloth and um, uh, with some alcohol and wipe this clean to make sure we have the best adhesion. Got my wet cloth. I'm going to wipe this surface dry. I've got my 3M sticky pad that comes with the kit. Gonna apply it here first. Pat that down to make sure it's secure. Then we'll take the other side and we'll lock this in place. Just like that. And like I said, there's multiple places you can put this. You could put it against this wall here, up here, or against here right next to your tow hook. All right, now that that's in, all we have to do is put the cover back on. I'm gonna change the angle of the, um, of the video again to show you us reassembling. We're looking back again here at the, the bumper. And we want to make sure this goes back in place correctly. First thing you want to do, this section here, you want to get under the lip of the bumper. 
And you can do that by pulling the bumper out slightly. And you wanna make sure this gray tab is over the top before you get and put the screw back in. There we go. Now, this hole down here allows you to get access to the, the leveling control for the fog lights. So once you have everything installed, you wanna turn everything on, face it against the wall, and then if you need to, use a Phillips head screwdriver um, and turn counterclockwise or clockwise to change the angle of the light based on your preference. And that should be it. And that's the end of the installation. If you have any questions or concerns, please email us at help at precisionled.com or you can reach us online and submit a support ticket at www.precisionled.com slash contact. Please like or subscribe if you enjoyed the video or enjoyed the process for what we do. It really does help us out when we make the next one knowing that there's people out there watching the videos. Have a good one.